The summer months are time to get out and enjoy what nature has to offer, from gorgeous sunrises to birds singing their morning songs. And they've been pretty chirpy lately, don't you think? Now, what region you live in will determine which birds you will see flying around. Joining us this morning via Skype is the Director of Bird Conservation at Audubon, California, Andrea Jones. Andrea, good to talk with you. Let's break it down by region. So if you live in the Northeast, what types of birds will you see? Well, some of the birds you might see are something like a scarlet tanager, which is a bright red bird you can see singing from the treetops. Another one you could see commonly in your backyard is the blue jay. Now, that's a common bird, but if you start looking at it, it's really one of our most beautiful birds. What is the difference between a blue jay and a bluebird? I've always thought they're hard to tell apart. Yeah, a blue jay is a much bigger bird, um, and a bluebird is a very small songbird, and it's blue and reddish, whereas a blue jay is all blue, and they're the ones that do the loud squawking noises in your backyard. Ah, okay. Now, what about <laughs> the Midwest? What kind of birds can you spot there? So a, a couple of um, birds would be the great blue heron, um, you know, very tall, stately bird that you might see walking along marshes or occasionally along the edges of a road, or um, the red-headed woodpecker that you might see in a tree near your backyard, or possibly a northern cardinal, which is our, you know, bright red, the red bird, as we call it. Yeah, the red bird. Um, and those woodpeckers, I've, they can, they can uh, keep you up because they are loud. Let's, <laughs> let's dip into the southeast. Which birds do we look out for here? Well, a bird that I'm always looking for in the skies in the southeast is a black vulture. It's similar to the turkey vulture, but it's got a very short tail, and it's a bird that's really expanded throughout the region. Another one, which is, you know, Audubon's logo, is the great egret, another stately, large, white bird. That vulture looked mean, too. Quite a difference between <laughs> those two birds. Um, all right, let's go west. Is there a difference between what you see in the northwest versus the southwest? Yes, there are. The southwest is a you know, very arid region, and so that's where a lot of our deserts are. So um, the cactus wren is a bird you could see in the, in the southwest, or a verdant. And a verdant is a really small songbird that's very common in people's backyards or in, their, in your neighborhoods. It's a, it looks like it has a little lemon head. Um, so very different birds in the northwest, uh, where you have more forested wet conditions, a stellar's jay. Um, similar to the scrub jay, but much bigger and louder and with a, with a big black mohawk on the top of its head. Or in the forest, you might see an Oregon junco. All right, so let's talk about building a birdhouse or maybe even a nest box. Are there any easy tricks of the trade? Yeah, there's, there's lots of tricks of the trade on uh, National Audubon Society's website, audubon.org. But the first thing you want to do is figure out what birds you might have in your area. And the best way to do that is, again, to go on Audubon or pick up a field guide and see what kind of birds you have in your region. You mentioned tree swallows. Tree swallows are a great one for, for nest boxes. Not all birds use nest boxes. Um, birds that are cavity nesters are the ones that use nest boxes, meaning they would traditionally nest in holes in trees. Um, so you want to find out what kind of nest to box to build and where you might affix it, usually to a tree facing in a certain direction of the sun. Um, and you basically just want to know what kind of birds you might be able to attract in your area. And what about seeds? You really need to know what type of birds that you're attracting to know what kind of seeds, right? Exactly. If you have hum if you want hummingbirds, you have to have hummingbird nectar. Um, if you want finches, you want small seeds. Um, and if you want more of a variety, you might have sunflower seeds. All right. Well, Andrea Jones, thank you so much for joining us. You know, the birds have been extra chirpy this year.